Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this JSON server video tutorial, we will see that how we can make the APIs with a JSON server and everything. So first of all, let's check out the points of this video. These are the five points. What is a JSON server? How we can just install it? How we can use it? And how we can make the APIs with the JSON server? And uh, at the last, we will test the all uh, APIs with the Postman also. So now let's start with the first question. What is the JSON server? So JSON server is basically provide the fake APIs for the front end developers. So why this is required? So let's say you are just learning the React, Angular or the Vue and you just want to know that how we can integrate the APIs. That time you have the two options. One is you can just make the APIs on your backend. Otherwise you can use the JSON server. So if you are just going to make the API with the backend language like the Node, Python, Java, then this is a very time consuming process and it will just take the lots of time and maybe there is a chance that you don't know any server side language so maybe you have to learn first then you have to just make the apis so this is not a possible way for that time we can use the json server it provide the uh, actual kind of apis this is not the actual but you can see that but the apis format api status code json array structure everything is same so you can just feel that this is the real api all right so and this is very easy to use also so now let's go to the second point that how we can install it and how we can then use it so uh, this link is given in the description box so you can just go to the, this link and the old documentation is given here but you don't need to read the old documentation because i will tell you everything to you here all right to install this you just need to run a one command which is npm this is the given here npm install minus g and then json server right so when you just want to run this command uh, minus g means this will just work as in globally so that in the ubuntu or mac you must have to add the sudo here right and if you are using the window then you don't need to put here sudo all right so after doing this, we have to just create a one file with a db.json in anywhere of your system, right? Or if you don't want to create this, you can just run this command. It will just automatically create the db.json file, right? So I am just going to make a folder on a desktop, just mkdir api, right? And just go to the api folder and let's open this in the code editor also. So you will find that for a moment there is no file is here right so whenever I just run this command you will find there db.json file is created here so just simply write here json server uh, minus minus watch and db.json all right just hit it and now you will see that we got a file here and this file have some data also that means it just created the three dummy APIs. We will see that how we can create the fourth API also, but first of all, let's check out the output. Where we can check the output? For that, let's go on a 3000 port. Here, you will find the all three APIs here. Great, all right? So this is our, these are the very tiny, tiny API. We will just create a little bit uh, complex or you can say that little bit little bit big api and we will use the get put patch or the delete every method also and i will tell you that what is the meaning of this method so first of all i am just going to uh, just remove it for a moment right so i i don't want to use let's say these three apis then how can i just create a new one for that you just need to just put your api name or you can say that the endpoint let's say my endpoint name is users all right and here are let's make an array when you see it you will find that there is an api but there is a no result for now because this is completely blank so let's uh, just make an object and put some data like name can be anil siddhu but you have to just take it in the double quotes let's say just add the email address can be uh, anil at the rate siddhu.com and uh, address and address can be like uh, daily or something 
perfect so now you will find that you got the first result or first uh, object also right so let's make a second one so just make it copy and paste here all right so now you can just simply put here like peter peter and he's living in usa or something we got the two uh, two persons here all right so this is the simple way now let's test it with the postman that how it's actually working and how we can add the data with the postman and all all right so for that you must have to install the postman and if you don't know how we can install then i'm just going to tell you just right here postman and extension chrome let's click on a first link then uh, you will find here a if uh, the postman is not installed you will find that install button otherwise you will be have, have option of the launch application and after installing you will find it inside the applications and here let's click on that and you will find it here all right so now i just want to check this api on my postman then first of all let's start with the get method and let's put it here and you will just get the old result here right get method is used when we just want to fetch the data right and if we just want to add some data then we use the post so let's say i just want to add one more user here so let's say i just use the post this the url then click on the body row and then go on the json format right and keep in mind when you just want to add some data then you must have an id here right but for a moment we don't have any id so i am just going to make a id with the every uh, you can say that uh, user so it's a two all right so now i just want to make the third object and let's copy this so that we can just save the time right so we don't need id because id is automatically generated when we are just uh, in entering the data with the postman so let's say third one is tony and let's say tony this is a tony email address and he's also living in the usa and just hit the enter and you will find there the id3 is automatically generated status this is created and here you can see that tony is created here as a third uh, user that's great right so but now just find that uh, the email address was wrong that you just want to update it with the postman for that let's uh, just do it in the next step just you have to select the put here and uh, let's just copy this one also and on the body just go again in the row and select the json here let's put the everything but one more thing you have to mention the id that you, where you just want to change it so i just want to change on the third one id and uh, tony stark is the official email address for hypothetically thinking right <laughs> it may not be possible right so now you can see that the address is changed so if i'm just going to get here then get the data you will find that tony stark email address is changed as well as in this file also okay so after that you are thinking that i don't need the peter so i just want to delete it from the avengers list right which is the spider-man so for that um let's go here put the url okay just put the url here select the delete method and uh, peter e id is two so just put it two here and just hit it okay after that you will see that status is 200 and uh, when you will just see it then you can see that id 1 and 3 is there but 2 is deleted that's great and same is the here also right so this is the way that how you can create the new apis and test it with the postman the json server if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care